Hello and welcome to Clearance Rate, a full wrap up of the nation's residential property sales over the last week and auction volumes have dropped this week, pushing the clearance rate higher, especially in Sydney, which recorded close to 75%. Now it sounds good, but what exactly does the lower volume mean for the market? Here to explain New South Wales real estate editor, Tim McIntyre. And Tim, there's still talk of a possible housing bubble out there. How does the data this week play into that? Oh, well, Maura, there is no housing bubble around the corner or ready to burst. It's simply the winter months that we're coming into now and there's a lower volume of auctions as expected. Um, so with, with the volumes up this week, Sydney was at 74.6% for 589. Um, Adelaide actually knocked it off top perch for the week but only had 79 auctions and Melbourne's still going strong at 68.4%. Yeah, what are we seeing by way of uh, private house sales over the last seven days? Uh, well, it's looking the same as it has been. Sydney's actually stepped up its number of private sales for this week, even though it is in the winter months. And but that median price is coming down a little bit because last week it was up in the sevens. Yeah, it's come down under 700000 for the first time in a while. Um, meanwhile, some of the others have gone down too. Melbourne has just gone back under the 500000 that had been above for a little while. And uh, Perth is still coming down from, from previous highs. Okay, and of course, uh, sales on the apartment front, what are we seeing this week? Um, a slight drop in these ones as well, Moira. The Sydney units down to 565,000. They were pushing 600 for a while. Um, it will slow down a little bit. It will level out to uh, Melbourne, just up near 1,000 sales and 430,000. Adelaide still with the best value, 314,000. And all in all, how have these numbers influenced that capital city home value? Well, it's back-to-back -back boom weeks for Melbourne. The, you know, 1.8% growth this week. Uh, the previous week was 2.1%. So now they're up over up to about 4% for the month and for the year so far after a bit of negative growth. Sydney has put back-to-back 0.8% -back growth together and is now up 15.7% on this same time last year, which is still very strong. Adelaide on the way down still from a couple of uh, positive months and the other market's pretty flat at the moment. And the capital growth that is uh, seen there on an annual level is still way above cash, it's above stocks, it's still a, a key investment choice for a lot of Australians just because of that continued capital growth. Yep, it is a property we love. We love property in Australia, it, it is our thing and, and it will outgrow stocks for the, a lot of the time. Let's have a look at some of those best buys of the week, those fabulous pictures you bring for us to have a gawk at. What have okay, we got? well, we've got a couple of interesting ones here. Now, this property, as you can see by the graffiti on the wall... It, oh, boarded up windows, graffiti on the wall, looks yeah. pretty dilapidated to me. Uh, this one's on the market for $1.2 million in Please Leichhardt. tell me that the backyard is about 1,000 square metres. Look, it's it's getting up towards that. The the land size definitely is the kicker there, even though it isn't the most uh, level the same, block or anything same house? like that. Yeah, same house is the back view of it. You can see there's a nice wooden fence there, which adds to the appeal of the property on the side. So over a million dollars for a complete knockdown in Leichhardt, which is probably about, what, six, seven kilometres from the CBD? Yeah, thereabouts. Okay, and how does that compare to, say, a, a, a suburb that's already established and you're buying a fresh house? What can you get for the same money? Well, we got this uh, terrace here in Paddington, which sold for $1.3 million at auction to, to a couple from Noosa who actually turned up five minutes before and bought it on the day. So clearly there's no investment opportunity in a property like this. And if you're coming up and buying it on the day, it's about wanting to own a house in a certain suburb more so than uh, making a good buy for your money. Is that right? More yep. lifestyle choice? Yep. Anything nice and nice and close to the city and in a little nice little suburb like Paddington is going to get good money, even though it is on a small block. Yeah, well, it's uh, very interesting to see, isn't it? It looks tidy and nice at the front, but... Uh, I don't know whether the money stretches that far in other cities that would go much further. And that is all we've got time for, so we will see you again next week.